sorry. Um, welcome to our belly dance class today. We are going to do a drum solo. Um, we are also going to do lots of technique, which will be great as well. If you have any injuries, make sure you always get your doctors okay before you exercise, but also take it easy. I'll give you lots of options. Let's warm up. So starting off, just finding your space, getting our music. <laughs> toe, turn your foot around and that will be hip width for you. Keep your pelvis tucked in, chest up, hands on the bordering table. We're bending one knee, then the other, one, then the other. So as one straightens, the other bends. Yeah, good work. And then start to speed it up, keeping your posture nice and tall. So because we're doing drum solo later in the class, um, we'll be using lots of shimmies, but let's just practice now all together with our shimmies, getting our music again. So starting off, basic shimmy, one leg then the other, nice and strong, nice and relaxed through here, try and keep everything through here, nice and relaxed up shape, make sure your feet are on the floor, good, 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 nice, that's it, and up on the down.
Okay, staying here, staying with your shimmy, keep it nice and strong. And then bringing one leg out to the side. So you can keep this leg, you can keep your toes on the floor, you can keep the ball of your foot on the floor, you can shimmy both knees, or try shimming just the leg you're standing on. Yes, that's it, so try both. Now one. Now, 
toes. And other side. Nearly there. And toes. And shake it out. Awesome work, everyone. Oh my goodness, that was. I'm working you hard today already, but I'm about to work you harder because we are going to do some accents as well today. And so remember for drum solos, it's really nice to focus on accents, but also shimmy moves. So for our accents today, we're going to start with our hips with our Sohiyazaki step. So remember with our Sohiyazaki step, again, we start with our feet hip width apart. We bring one hip up, getting those nice rolls through the stomach. That's it. And then as that hip drops down, the other one comes up. So especially if your um, feet aren't feeling good today, um, instead of lifting the heel, you can lift the whole foot. So try and lift the whole foot, get those nice rolls through here, and then lift the other foot. So your legs stay straight-ish or knees stay relaxed. You're trying to bring one hip up, then the other. Good. If your feet are feeling okay, um, instead you can just lift the heel. Good. So try both, see what feels better for you. And the idea is you want to try and keep your body nice and tall. So you don't want to be leaning over like this as you bring the hip up. You want to get those nice rolls lifting up through there. That's it. So one side, other. Good. So if you're on... With your feet on the floor, this is quite a workout for your calves. Good. And if you're lifting your whole foot, it's a real workout for your core. So you can choose which one you prefer to work today as well. Good. Good. Okay, the other accent we're going to practice is our in out. So similar to what we do for our undulations, we're squeezing through here and here, bringing that pelvis in. So it's like a big bowl of soup. We're tipping it forward and then back, forward, back. So with this one, remember it's only a very little movement. It's not, it's not massive. You're squeezing here and here and then release. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Can you all see it come a bit closer? So from here, squeezing here, squeezing here, release, squeeze, release. Yes, that's it. Good. 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 Yeah, nice. Okay, the next little combo we're going to add is a chest lift. So with our chest lifts, we're really elongating through the front of our core, trying to bring our chest up, so not forward, but directly up, and then drop, up, drop, up, drop, up, drop. So with this one, it's hard to talk while you're doing it, but you want to try and keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. So you're not coming here, shoulders relax, just the chest. So if you think about your... Breastbone coming straight up. Yes, good, 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 good. Shake it up. Okay, one more accent that we're going to practice today, and that is in our stomach. So with our stomach, you can bring your stomach out and in, out and in. And to do this, you're using all your muscles through here. So it's like when you take a big yoga breath or similar to when we do our undulations. But for this one, instead of using our skeleton, we're just using our stomach muscles coming out and then in, out, in. And again, you can hold on to the area you're working. Try out and try in. And then if you're finding that easy, you can do like a little stomach vacuum that we haven't practiced for ages. Um, but that one's where you try and breathe out all the way and then you try and lift up through the diaphragm. So let's try it all together now. Breathe out as far as you can. And sucking it in and then release. So again, breathe out. I won't talk this time because it's hard to, you can't talk while you're doing it. Breathing out all the way. Yeah, good. So remember with this one, if you've got a mirror close by, you can see the little hollow in your neck when you do it. So from here, I'm breathing out. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can see that. Um, so this is a really good one for your organs as well. So if you're feeling up to the challenge today, instead of just doing a little pop in and out using your muscles, you can really use your breath, breathe out, Hold in with the diaphragm as well. Let's do it one more time all together. So 
breathing out as far as you can. And then once you've let all your breath go, pulling in through your diaphragm. Yeah, that's it. Good, good, good. Nice work. Okay, shake it out. We're going to bring it into a little combo today. So starting nice and slow, we're coming into our so here's Zaki step. So you can keep your hands wherever you like. You can have them on the bottom table on your hips, out of the way. We're coming down, down, in, out, up, down, out. So nice and slow. Again, doesn't matter which side you start with. So here's Zaki one side, then the other side. Hips coming in, hips coming out, chest comes up, chest comes down, stomach comes out. Let's go again, nice and slow. So I'll show you from the side. So, so here's Aki first. Down, down, in, out, up, down, out. Yep, good. Again, nice and slow. Hips. So here's Aki first. Down, down, in, out, up, down, out. Yeah, good, good, good. Um, let's just practice the first part of that combination. We'll drill it and then we'll add more on. So from here, down, down, in, out. So let's just practice that. Down, down, in, out. So all I'm doing is my Sohiyazaki step. Down, down, pelvis pulling in, releasing out. Again, down, down, in, out. Down, down, in, out. Down, down, in, out. Good, good. Good. Okay, let's just practice that part with some music and then we'll add on the chest and the stomach. Um, so we'll find something nice and even in tempo. down, down, in, out, then adding chest up, down. So just adding those two moves, down, down, in, out, up, down. Down, down, in, out, up, down. Let's try with the music. you're trying to get the difference between each little move and each little move is only slightly different. So if you're finding it hard, yeah, it is, it is really hard. And um, so from here, adding on the final part, we've gone down, down, in, out, up, down, push out. So with that stomach, all it is, is again, you can use the vacuum if you want or just push that stomach out. So let's try it nice and slow. Down, down, in, out, up, down, out. Down, down, in, out, up down, out, down, down, in, out, up, down, out. Good, okay, let's try a little bit of music.
work, nice work. Awesome job, everyone. Well done. Okay, shake it out. That's the hardest thing we're going to learn today. So um, it's going to be easier from here. Um, next thing that we're going to learn is our Hagala oh, Hagar walk and our hip drops. So starting off with our hip drops, we're bringing one foot in front, bringing our arm up. We're reaching up, getting those nice creases through our stomach, and then drop. Coming up, drop, up, drop. And like our Sokiyazaki step, remember we want to keep our body nice and upright. You don't want to lean over as you bring that hip up. You want to try and get those nice rolls again. Good. Speed it up. Good. And then every second one we're doing a release today. So first one we come up. Second one we drop and then drop and release. So the drop and release happens at the same time. So you've still got the drop through the hip and you're releasing through the foot. So it's up, drop, up, drop and release. Up, drop, up, drop and release. Watch my hip. So as I do that release with the foot, I'm also dropping through the hip. Good. Speed it up. Nice. Good. Okay, let's try the other side. Coming up, drop, up, drop and release. Up, drop, up, drop and release. Keep your posture tall. And speed it up. Good. Good. That's it. Nice. Everyone's got that. Good work. Okay, shake it out. And final move, if you want to learn it today, is our Hagala walk. So I'll run through it briefly, but otherwise you can just focus on the steps. We're stepping forward. Our foot lands flat on the, fo on the floor. We start with a bent knee. We push our hip out to the side. So to push that hip out, all you're doing is straightening that leg pushing the hip out, and then as we bring that next foot forward, we lift up through here. So it's down, out to the side, push up. Down, out to the side, up. Down, out, up, that's it. Down, out, up. Down, out, up. Take small steps, down, out, up. Down, out, up. And when you're ready, speed it up. Down, out, up, down, out, up, down, out, up, down, out, up. Good, yes, nice. Good, good, good. So if you're going faster, remember you can accent on the down. Just focus on the down step. Good, beautiful, keep going. Down, out, up, down, out, up, down, out, up, down, out, up, down, out, up. Good, and shake it out. Okay, that's gonna come into our choreography later. Um, so, Grab a quick drink if you need one, then let's get into our choreography. It's drum solo, so it's going to be super high energy. So grab a drink if you need. Um, and we're using the same song that we used for our warm-up, or actually we warm-up before. It's called Hot Tub or Solo. Um, so for the first few bars, we're just waiting. And then for the entrance, we're walking in, keeping in time with the accents. Just walk, 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 walk. If you've got space, you can do a little circle and then another half circle. We've got 16, 16 steps all together. Starting right leg, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight finishing to the middle. From here, you can bring your hands under your hair if you like, or you can keep them on your hips or out. And we come into our little combo, down, down, in, out, up. So it's not the whole combo, it's just down, down, in, out, up. And then again, down, down, in, out, up. Okay, let's try it with the music. Any questions? Everyone's good? Okay, from the very beginning, you'll recognize the music. So I've got a little bit of an intro. Now that you've heard the music, it's quite 
slow with the steps, but then really fast with the accents. So when you're doing the accents, make sure you do them small. You don't need to do like really massive ones. Um, yeah, let's walk it through from the beginning again. So we've just done our walks around, we've done 16 walks. Then we're coming back in, nice and slow. The combo is down, down, in, out, up. So that's, so here, Saki down, other hip down, hips come in by squeezing here and here, out, and then chest come up. So like the combo we were just practicing before, again, down, down, in, out, up. Again, down, down, in, out, up. Good. Okay, let's go from the beginning. I won't talk this time, so you can try and listen to the music. mastering your Hagala step but instead just walk. Um, so otherwise if you want to do your Hagala step we've just done down down in out up down um, in out up for the second time and then we're stepping forward on this leg down out up down out up so that's quite slow so you don't have to rush it you'll hear the accents down out up down out up and then we've got three turning to the side one two three prepare. So the first two are nice and slow, and then the next three are fast. And with our feet, it's step, 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 prepare. So if you don't want to do the full Hagala walk, just do the steps. Again, step, 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 prepare. Good. So for this one, you can keep your hands here if you like, or you can bring your hands out. Step, step, step. Step, step, prepare. One more time. Down, out, up, down, out, up. Three, two, one, prepare. Good. Okay, one more time from here. Down, down, step, 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 step. And you can bring your hands back up to here. Yep. Okay, let's go from the beginning again. Really listen to the music. forward a little bit of the intro. challenge with this one if you haven't worked out already is that um, you're trying to be really sure on your own steps so that each step looks very different so the down out up down out up is very different to the down down in out up um, but they're very small moves so try and be clear on the moves yourself to then be able to get them yes nice work beautiful Hagala nice job okay let's go yeah yeah great question um, so if anyone didn't hear, the question was, um, how do you prepare to then go into the Sohiyazaki step coming down? So as you've done your walk, you're just walking around 
And then as you prepare, I'm coming up, but if you if you um, want to do your Sokozaki step on your flat feet, as you walk around, just come back to the centre and then you can just pull, pull in here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go again from the very beginning. Um, good question. Any other questions? Everyone's all right? Yeah. Okay. I'll try and fast for the intro again. that time with the prepare okay I'm going to assume everyone's okay um so um from here very very simple we're coming into our hip drop so we've just done our down down three two one prepare this foot's up we're coming drop release drop release drop release step back so it's three hip drops with the release and then one transfer back so for that transfer back all we're doing is bringing our hip from uh, our foot from the front transferring our weight and then coming back in that's it so just practice that one good 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 okay let's try it so it's drop release drop release drop release push back again drop release drop release drop release push back or more drop release drop release drop release push back shake it out Okay, so we've just done, let's go from the beginning where we're doing our accents. Five, six, seven, eight. Down, down, in, out, up. Down, down, in, out, up. Step, step, three, two, one, prepare. Drop, release, drop, release, drop, release. Push back, one more. Drop, release, drop, release, drop, release. Good, good, good. Okay, let's add that on from that part. We're getting ready to walk in. Let's go. Everyone's all right? Yep. Okay, so from here, we're coming from drop, release, drop, release, drop, release, push back, drop, release, drop, release, drop, release, stepping to turn to the front with our leg on this side up. So nice and slow for the second time, it's drop, release, drop, release, drop, release, and just to prepare with that leg in front. From here, we're coming into a twist nice and slow. So to bring that twist, we're coming up onto that front foot and bringing that hip forward. If you don't want to come onto your toes today, you can keep your both feet flat, bringing that hip forward. And it's nice and slow, one, two, and then again, coming into our combo. This time we can have our hands by our hips, down, down, in, out, up, down. This time adding the stomach on as well. So like we did, in our technique before. So it's down, down, in, out, up, down, out. Again, down, down, in, out, up, down, out. One more, down, down, in, out, up, down, out. So from the twist, twist, all I'm doing is bringing my feet back into parallel to prepare. And if you need, you can start a little earlier to bring that hip up to do your little, yep, so here's our key step. And then we're almost finished the choreography. Going to the other side, this leg in front, twist, twist, feet parallel, hands framing the hips, down, down, in, out, up, down, out. That part is quite fast. So if you don't get all the accents, don't worry. Just try and yeah, focus on listening to the music and get as much as you can. Um, and then from here, very, very simple. We've just gone down, down, in, out, up, down, out. Stepping forward on our right leg, shinny. Forward on the left leg, 
shimmy, forward on the right leg, shimmy, and then leaning that hip over to the side. And if you're feeling okay, you can do a nice little hair flick if your neck's feeling good. Otherwise, just holding to the side and keeping that accent. Okay, well, let's go from the very beginning. Let's go from the beginning. I'll try and get the intro. just from that same part. So just listen to the music, I won't talk this time. It's really good for our brain, really good for our accents, also really good for our musicality. It's like our drum solo we did in our concert last year. It's, yeah, it can be tough. Um, are there any questions? Everyone's all right. Okay, let's go again from the very beginning. Then we've got a little bit more to add on and then we're done. Um, okay, ready? comfortable and then flick over okay from here we're finished here and we're coming into a forward and back step so this leg is free you can just do the step if you want otherwise you can do the step with the shimmy and then if you're feeling good you can do the step with the shimmy on your toes we're coming forward and back turning to the side forward and back to the back forward and back other side forward and back and then you can pose at the end so that's the finish so if you want to do that part with the shimmy you're coming forward and back forward and back forward and back 
forward, back and pose. And if you want to use the arms, it's forward and back, like we are doing in our drills before. And then however you like to finish. Okay, let's run it through three times from start to finish. I'll try and finish on time today. Um, any questions? Everyone's all right? Yep, okay. From the beginning. to try and get those accents now that you know the song a little bit better. From the beginning again, second last time. challenging today um yeah just have fun with it you can always freestyle as well whatever moves you feel like doing let's go from the very beginning for the final time one more time. Are there any questions at all? Everyone's all right? Great. Okay. Final time from the very beginning. So this will be the final, final, final time. Just enjoy it. Lots of big energy. Let's go. To the center. 
Okay, I know I said final time, but I stuffed it up this time. So let's do just one more, very final one. We're all going to do it right this time, including me. Again, just enjoy it. everyone let's have a little stretch oh it's nice and warm outside now I feel myself getting warmer and warmer while we did that one okay let's just reach forward nice stretch throughout that good Keeping your mouth closed. 